Hello and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. We are now playing the brand new FM22. And if you're a follower of the channel, um, apologies for completely, completely missing the beta and the launch of the game. I've been very, very, extremely busy moving house um, that I even, I didn't even realize for a whole week that the beta was out. I did realize on the day that FM was released. But anyway, I have not been wasting time, even though I wasn't able to record. Uh, I still played the beta uh, for about a week and a half, uh, for not many hours, like maybe two or three hours in total. Um, and I've put together the basis for the Hereford uh, save again. So we're going to play the Hereford save again for this edition of FM. And um, <laughs> yeah, I've noticed quite a few things about the game that I like. A few things that I like. Ah, it's the same as always. But we'll go through features as we go. I'm not going to focus on the features because that was going to be the point of me going through the beta. I was going to focus on certain features and look through them. But because I completely missed out on the beta, I, I don't think I'm going to spend time um, individually focusing on features for episodes. So I'm going to jump, jump straight into a save. I've set up the save for FM, uh, Hereford FC, sorry, um, and we're going to go and look through it. So obviously Hereford is still in the Van Ramen North. They're actually not doing really well in real life, which is surprising because, you know, they, they went to the FA Trophy and stuff. So, yeah, let's look at the prediction for now. So let's look at the league table and season preview. Let's see, we predicted to come 8th in the league. I think... Yeah, we have one player in the um, Dream 11 story. He's, um, he's a right winger, or he's going to play right in on the right wing for us. Uh, for this save, even though he's a striker, apparently in this dream save, uh, sorry, he's in this dream eleven. So yeah, so um, okay, fair enough. We do have another routines and they play in the league. They've managed to fix the under routines league, so we're now actually playing in the league, which is pretty sweet. We only have two players at the moment in the under eighteen squad: uh, Joe Speaky and Marley Morris, Harley Morris. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to bolster that up. I need to still go through the under 18 staff, I believe. Yeah, I need to go through that. Uh, I've gone through the senior staff, so that's all completed. Uh, I might have to go through coaches again in training just to see everyone is um, contributing the best they can. I've done the scouting assignments, so that's all good. One thing I need to do is uh, set out individual training for players in the main squad and in the under 18 squad. Um, I do like that new feature, you know, the weekly meetings that they recommend individual training and stuff. So a few of the players are doing that. But um, when I when I say that I need to go and look at the individual train of training for players, I'm more talking about um, which attributes they're focusing on and which position they're focusing on. Okay, yeah, so this was abysmal when I first arrived, so it's getting better. I am planning to sell Tom, so players aren't happy about that. And let's see if I can take you through the current squad. So we have obviously quite a, new f a few new faces, uh, but the majority of the squad is still um, the original. We do have two... Oh no, we only have one. I didn't manage to make the other one. Okay, we have one new, uh, new goalkeeper. So we have Andrea da Silva from Portugal. He uh, is actually uh, playing at Moore Camp uh, in the English League and League Two. So he's going to be our main goalkeeper. And then we also have the um, Nikadi, who's already with us. I think he's playing for the youth team mainly at the moment. Yeah, so he's still our. Um, with us, Brennan Hall, we're hoping to sell or to loan or to do something. Um, yeah, Brennan Hall is not going to stay with us. 
Then for the right of defense, um, I went and got Matthew McDonald. He's an 18 year old at the moment at, um, in Scotland. And I um, kept our captain, where is he? Uh, Jared kept him on and he's gonna basically be around. Um, now, center of defense, I've split it into two. I've split it into a defense position and a cover position. So for the defense position, we have two players, Jack Hobbs, who I went and got from Bolton for free. And I also have Christian Pierce. Christian Pierce, who uh, I believe I also got from somewhere else. Yeah, Borham, uh, Borham Wood for free. So two new players that for the cover side of the fence, we only have one new player, Josh Bailey. Uh, so he's come all the way from Bristol. And I've kept for a, more like a backup. He's not really that good for this position, but I kept Riley, oh, Ryan, sorry, Ryan, 17 year old. He should have been in the under 18s really, but I kept him on just as a backup. Um, hopefully I'll still be able to sign someone on between now and the end of the transfer window. Um, but yeah, so there we go. For the halfback positions we have uh, Jan, uh, the usual uh, player coach that we have with the uh, with Hereford. And Ben Pollock also staying with us for the halfback position. But in the center of the midfield, I went and loaned Kirian, a young player from Scotland, and I still have James Vincent. Uh, James Vincent as well has been kept on. For the right wing, like I said earlier, when we first loaded the game, I have got Miles Story staying on for that position. But we also went and got Kirin Dahl, another Scottish player. So we have quite a few Scottish players that have come on either for free or on loan. For the the right, sorry, the left side of the fen of the attack, the left side of the attack, uh, I went and got Jamie Doyle on a, a no contract from Ireland. We're selling Ryan Lloyd, surprise, surprise, but we are keeping the original loanee that comes with Sarahford, um, Dan Smith, we're keeping on, and he's on loan to Hereford um, from Eastleigh. But that's like he already, that's part of the save. He's actually in real life already at Hereford. Uh, for the. Um, used to, we used to play with a Shadow Striker. We're going to play a slightly different system. I'll show you the system in a bit. But yeah, for the um, attacking midfielder position, we went and got Kyle Wilkie, another Scottish player. And we also kept on Harry for that position as well. So we'll see what we did with that. And then we've got two new strikers. We've got Ross, a uh, sort of veteran Scottish player. Where was he before? All the shot. So actually, it was actually in England. And Kyrie was in Scotland. Okay, fine. And we also have um, Killian Cooper, Irish player, who was in the first Irish division before. So we have quite a few players to sell. Some of them we've either sold or um, loaned out. So we still have Brandon Hall to sell. Uh, Luke uh, is currently on the way out. Ryan Lloyd is currently on the way out. Uh, Richie we're going to sell, Tom is on the way out, and Mazia we're hoping to sell. And we've also already sold quite a few players. I don't remember these guys, they must have left before the start of the save. Uh, yeah, I think the only one that I got rid of was George on loan, and also Ryan on loan. Previously in the summer, uh, Hereford themselves loaned out Toby Raisin, um, and they also released on free transfers Samir Kennedy, Jamie Grimes, and Paul Wyatt, the other goalkeeper, I believe. 
uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so a few changes uh, that Hereford did themselves. Um, yeah, so we have no budget, transfer budget. So uh, there's a few a few positions that I would love to improve, but um, just can't do that at the moment. Um, the, so the biggest thing at the, at the moment for us is to just try and get this first season out of the way. Uh, and I really would like to then, because now we have youth leagues, that, that, like just to improve the youth. Uh, that's kind of been one of the things I've been trying to get to in FM21, and we were never able to because of some strange bug that Hereford had that they had no youth leagues. So, yeah, hopefully that is going to be fixed. Right, let's get into it. Let's actually play a match. So, the system, here we go. Experimenting with things a little bit. We're gonna go with a vertical tick attacker for this one. Uh, we're gonna play with a um, super keeper in the goalkeeping position with fairly conservative defense. So we've got a fullback on the right and a nonsense, no nonsense fullback on the left, and two no nonsense center backs. One of them in the defense position, one the other one in the cover position. Um, so you can see that we have a slightly more conservative left side of the field, so much more locked down, staying further behind. Then we're going to top that off with a defensive midfielder in a supporting role. And then the attack is very much very much more focused on attacking. So we have an uh, attacking centre midfielder position. We've got a, a wide target man, on, target man on the left and an inverted winger on a supporting role on the right. Um, now the Engash position, I'm just playing around with it, so it says that the Eng Engash is the system's prime creator. So he's a hook that joins the midfield in the attack and operates behind the strikers. Um, and the playmaker who sticks to his position becomes a pivot to his team as they move around. So it's a more stationary role. Um, uh, the Engash acts as a focal point instead of moving around. So we have two quite static players, so the Engash and the Poacher. Uh, Eng Engash trying to get passes in and, and create opportunities, the Poacher trying to score them in. And then, yeah, we've got the Poacher, we've also got the White Target Men, and um, yeah, so we'll see how this works. I'm not, I haven't actually played a competitive match yet, we're going to play our first competitive match now, but from the friendlies, it's not going too badly for us. We conceded four goals in total. Well, the first game doesn't really count. So we conceded three three goals in total, but we scored six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty good. Pretty good. Right. Now I kept, the chair keeps sliding. I'm sorry. Struggling to keep it still. Um, yeah, let's go. So we're playing against Farsley, who are predicted... If I can find it, I might have to go back to competitions. Uh, Farsley are predicted to come bottom, really, 18th. So, let's, let's see. Um, I like this small touch of um, getting opposition instructions further towards the top. I'm not really going to bother about some of these, but I will do some things like we're going to use tight tighter marking, that's fine. Build match defense, Fast increase defense duties. Um, Narrower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just having a look at some of these other things. I think we should play narrow just to keep it with Tiki Taka. Mm, I'll try that. Um, let's see how that changes tactics. Uh, 
Okay, we'll try it. I'll see what it, see what happens. So are we gonna go with our best players from the friendlies and also Carl who's come in recently? Um and we'll see. Are we gonna go balanced? Probably should go at positive, but uh yeah, we'll go balanced for now. We need to give out some numbers. There we go. Yeah, so players are concerned, but they're not been doing too badly, so hopefully that will be all right. We'll figure it out. Now, one nice touch that um, I've noticed is that after the match, the um, the changing room is messy. Yeah, like there's bottles on the floor, there's stuff all over the place. Oh, nice goal. That's lovely. There we go. We've got our first goal seven minutes in. From the new striker, Ross McCormack. Nice little flick. And then just a shot. Simple shot. Very nice. Yeah, so after the match, you, the changing room is messy, which is, I think is a nice touch. And also, like, the pre-match animations. I think I saw one at one point where the, like, the players were warming up and it looked different than the usual warm-up. So, that's a pretty nice touch. So, we're doing a quite conservative defence. They basically just pass the ball to midfield and then rely on midfield to get it at the front, and so far, so good. We'll get our wide target men um, scoring. Very good, so the right winger to the left winger. The left winger playing as a wide target man. We do have still one transfer to complete. We got we're supposed to be having this um, midfielder to come on loan for a short loan. So James Vincent might um, we might have to sell or uh, send on loan James Vincent. Nice play here. Or oh, just a shame he didn't go in. There we go, Dow getting the ball back. I've seen some new animations just in this small few minutes. The things that weren't usual in the FM21. It's just really nice to get another episode out because I don't think I've recorded an episode in maybe a month. So sorry to the patron. Um, yeah, just been super busy with work and moving house and all that. That was disallowed. Okay, so the first half went really well. Let's carry on for the second half. So the game itself hasn't changed that much. There are a few new features, especially relating to data, uh, meetings and things like that. But it hasn't changed an awful lot. Now, one thing that you will notice is that the manager person is a man this time around. The reason it's a man, it's because I tried to do a rendition of my face. And last year, this worked pretty well, right? This year, I tried the whole like 3D rendition thing. It looked awful, absolutely awful. Like there was skin inside my art. It was awful. So, I just decided to go with a stock face, and now the female variety only had one variety, as far as I could tell. There was only one face you could have if you were a female, so I decided, you know what, 
I'm gonna go with a male uh, manager man or manager figure. So yeah, so that's one of the complaints that I have is that they still have not actually last year's version of the 3D rendition was way better than this year's. So I wouldn't mind going back to last year's. Mm, sorry, I'm gonna do on. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind going back to last year's rendition of the female faces because they were a lot better. You've messed it up. And also, where are the women's leagues that I've did I dream this? I'm pretty sure FM put out a tweet or it might have been a forum, but it was FM itself. It wasn't any other I seem to remember it was actually FM who put this out. And pff, no. No women's leagues. No mention of it anywhere. Nothing at all. Maybe I dreamt it. Who knows? Yeah, but this in this day and age, surely you could have better faces for women in the game. So you managed to do it last year. Don't know why you didn't do it this year. Um, it's just really bad, really bad. Doyle with a second goal. So this wide target man approach is really paying off for us. Especially with the inverted winger on the right. Passing the balls in. Crossing the balls in, I should say. And yeah, so 3 to 1. Pretty happy with that. Victory on our first match. And did you just see? I, I obviously skipped too quickly, but yeah, there was a messy dressing room there. We've got our first victory award. Very nice. Okay, and I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to continue slowly um i won't promise an episode next week because uh, i don't know if i'll actually get around to it but yeah uh, so hopefully we'll continue slowly again with this save just see how it goes hopefully slightly quicker than the last time because we spent ages in the vanorama north if you'll remember like four seasons in the vanorama north before we got promoted but we did play in the premiership just for a bit uh, if you haven't checked out last year's series, go check out the playlist for last year. But yeah, hopefully we'll get quicker through the leagues. Uh, but yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you ag again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.